We're plunking with the Ruger 1022 today. Stick around. Hi, thanks for joining us again on Shoot of the Series. Uh, my name is Ed Thorell from Firearms Education, and we want to thank all of our subscribers for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed to us yet, hit that little button at the bottom of the screen, and that way you can get an alert every time we put up a new video. Uh, today, we wanted to bring out the Ruger 1022, and it's become kind of an iconic rifle. It was designed over 50 years ago, but it's still the best selling 22 on the market. Um, it's gone through a lot of variations, and this is just basically the standard market. But now they actually have some that break down into two different parts. You can get them in stainless, blued, uh, different stocks, whether wood, fiberglass, laminate. Uh, there's a 1022 for everybody. I've even seen some in pink. So. It's a great way to bring younger shooters into the sport, but it's also a lot of fun for experienced shooters. This is a great way to uh, integrate your training and learning all the fundamentals using a rifle that's a lot less costly, uh, has a lot less recoil, but more importantly, it's a lot of fun. So the 1022 uh, in its most basic package uh, is great. You can get into one for $350, $400. A uh, nice thing about the 1022 is the modularity, uh, the fact that you can build them any way that you want. Uh, as it sits here, it has a what's called a bull target barrel, very thick. So because of that, there is no vibrations, no harmonics. It's very rigid. So if you're going to be doing bench shooting like we're doing today, this is a great choice. It's going to be very, very accurate. Of course, if you're going to be carrying something out in the field and taking it like hunting rabbits, you're probably going to want a different model because the heavy barrel, you're going to feel that at the end of the day. But the nice thing about the Ruger is is to change out the barrel, there's just two hex nuts inside. All you have to do is loosen them up and you can literally change out the barrel in a matter of minutes. Uh, and it's the modularity of the 1022 that really makes it a winner. One of the things you can also do is you can put an aftermarket rail on it. And that aftermarket Picatinny rail is going to allow you a wider range of scopes. And in this case, I went with a three by nine hunting scope. And it really, really increases the versatility when you go to a regular rifle scope as opposed to being locked in to what's known as a 22 scope. This will do a lot more. And it doesn't take much to be able to reach out to 100 yards and hit a four inch disc all day long. Not a problem. Uh, the way this is set up in particular is this has got a, a Hogue rubberized stock. Um, if it's going to get bumped around, you don't have to worry about nicks and scratches on a nice wood stock. Uh, the other thing is, is by having a composite stock like this, you never have to worry uh, about what happens with wood with, you know, warpage when you come in and out of different uh, humidity levels. So this is going to give you good consistent sh uh, shots because it's a consistent product that's never going to warp. Um, it's also set up with a bipod, and because this particular 1022 is basically a bench rifle, the 1022 uh, is is really optimized when you when you put a, a bipod on it or some sort of a rest. Now, uh, the 1022, I just wanted to explain some of the features, and one of the things that we always do when we're going to have a conversation and start handling one is first we want to show safe and clear. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the bolt back, and the bolt hold open is down here in front of the trigger, and then reach forward, and you can eject the 10 round magazine. And this is a rotary magazine. It actually has kind of got a spiral spring inside of it. And this will hold 10. Um, these aren't terribly expensive. You can get a whole pocket full of these and have a great old time with them. Uh, the 22 doesn't cost very much to shoot. In this case, we're using federal ammunition, and you can usually get into a box of 50 for about five bucks, 10 cents a round. You can usually save some money if maybe you buy them in bulk, but uh, 22s definitely bring out the kid and everybody. So we like to do 10 22s, uh, just because when I get on to practicing with a real rifle, learn all the fundamentals on this, and it's a nice easy transition if you get into something bigger. So 
This is the 1022 rifle. It's a proven performer. Um, can't say enough good things about it. So anyway, we appreciate you tuning in. Thanks again for watching us on Shooters. Uh, if you look below, you can see all of our various social media down at the bottom of the screen. And thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.